How's it going guys? Today's video is brought to you by a little veganism. Never had anybody. So I'm gonna do a quick uh, versus video here between the 6P and the Moto X Pure Edition. You know, so these are two of the hottest phones out currently at this moment. And they both have their pros. Actually, they don't have too many cons these devices. There's not much you can say wrong that is, that is wrong with them. So we're gonna compare them and first we're gonna start off with design design wise it's up most of this stuff is preference especially when it comes to design um if you are all about material and you want to brag about what your phone is made out of then you're gonna like the nexus 6p because it's all aluminum it's got chamfered edges you know if you like that kind of stuff you know it's kind of like kind of like the iphone and the old htc's um, then you're definitely gonna like the design of the 6P over the Moto X. Uh, it's the more premium design, so it's got the premium materials. Now, with the Moto X, it's more of a modest design. You still get aluminum on the sides, so you get a nice metal frame. You got a curved back with um, church or some materials. You can either do soft, the plastic, the rubber back, which is very nice and grippy. The wood, less grippy but still not as slippery as metal. And then of course, you can do leather, which of course I can't recommend because, you know, cows die for that. Anyways, so you get a more modest design here. Um, not as premium as some people, people would say, but which one do you prefer? Now I'm gonna say I prefer the design of the Moto X because it's more fun to use, it's more fun to hold. It's easier to use for a long period of time. I find myself with this chamfered edges kind of hurt sometimes, you know, like um, it's, it doesn't hurt, it just gets uncomfortable. Let's say I'm playing Need for Speed for a while, I'm holding the phone like this, it kind of starts to get uncomfortable and I have to hold it in different places and if it does get a little bit, bit warm, then, you know, it kind of gets even more slippery. So I'm not too big of a fan of the slippery feel. You know, just very slippery. So I'm not that big of a fan of that. So design-wise, I'm more of a practical person. I like the practical design of the Moto X. And of course, you can see how tall. Look at the difference. The same screen size, but uh, it's definitely taller. It's taller than the 6. It's taller than the Nexus 6. It's taller than the iPhone 6 Plus. This is, <clears throat> without a doubt, probably like one of the tallest phones out there. And I'm not a big fan of those big bezels. So one-handed use as well is better here. So if you want all about materials, then you can go with the 6P. But if you want something that's more fun to use, easier to hold, easier to use one-handed, and just, just a pleasure to use, then I would say the Moto X wins that one. Next, talk about front-facing speakers. So we'll do... I'll let you guys decide which one do you like, and after I play this song, I will I will let you guys know which one I think I like better. So let's start with the 6P. So there you go. Um, so if you want to play that back and listen to it over again, um, I, in my opinion, the Moto X sounds better in the speaker quality department. It just has like a deeper sound. It has more bass to it, and the, and not as much treble. So it's more balanced sound for, for me. Um, much, it's much more. I've, it's just more more fun to listen to the speakers on here. Here, I feel like sometimes it can get a little bit harsh, and I don't like how it feels. It kind of feels like it's piercing my ears a little bit. So. Quality of the sound, definitely, I would say the Moto X wins. So next, let's talk about battery life. So of course, this has a 3000 million battery. This has a 3400 million battery. I get about the same. It's only been one day, so I can't really go off that for sure. And of course, um, you know, it's Lollipop versus Marshmallow, but I am running Lollipop, I mean Marshmallow in here, but it's not the, quite the final build yet. And, um, but I would say either you, when I'm using these phones, I'll charge one of them. I'll charge them at least once a day. 
I, well, once. Once a day charge and that's it. And you know, they both charge very quickly. This one charges a little bit faster. I can get full on about an hour and I'd say five minutes. I'd say about an hour and 15 or 20 minutes with this one. Uh, without usage, it was about an hour and 15. I haven't charged it with usage yet. Might take a little bit longer, but so I'll say this is definitely a faster charging one as well. So design, I would say this goes, this one's um, speakers, definitely a winner here. Battery life, this one wins. Um, then we can talk about camera. So camera quality, definitely a low light, the 6P wins. The Moto X wins and the video department. The stabilization is very, very good on the Moto X, even though it doesn't have OIS. Uh, and camera, and you know, when you record videos, the stabilization is just like one of the, actually one of the best out there right now. Um, 6P's can get a little bit shaky. And one thing I did notice too is that the fact that the 6P is not as good as focusing as the Moto X. The Moto X actually has a really, really great focus. Whether you're, you know, taking pictures or if you're on your video too, I have a picture that I took earlier. Um, let's see. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but... This is the one that I got it to finally focus on. It finally focused on, this is the 6P. But these ones are shots that I took. Uh, I was playing with the Jor Turbo. I'm so mad that the front facing speaker, there's only one speaker on the Turbo. Kinda sad about that, but anyways, this one wouldn't focus. This is the 6P. Um, this one focus. Oh, this is that. This is the one I did focus on the Moto X. So this is just like a little wind chime that's outside of my house. Uh, it's always moving because of course it's a little bit windy. While it was moving, the 6P could not get a focus on it. But the Moto X had no problem. This is one shot with the Moto X and that's it. And that was nice and focused. Um, but it took me a couple of shots. And actually I never got focus on the 6P until it stopped moving. So focus on moving subjects gotta give it to the Moto X. So they both have their points. I'll say if you're a low light photographer, you're gonna like the 6P better. If you're a video taker and let's say you have like kids or something like that, that are just, you know, always running around or maybe you have a pet, this will be better because it's gonna definitely focus better as well as if you're taking videos of them, it's gonna, you know, cause then it's just more stable in that regard. But for low light photography, definitely the motor work, the 6P will win in that department. Other than that, you know, they're both actually very, very, very good phones. Um, like I said, there's not much to complain about them both. I'll have a more, of course, I'll have my review for the 6P coming up. Um, but let's say if you're trying to decide between the two, which one should you go with? Like I said, if you need to have the very latest version of Android first, then you can go with the 6P. Um, of course, Nexus device is always the way to go. It's gonna get the, the updates first, and if, if you like to have like the best materials, and you don't really care about like you know feeling the hand or anything like that, you could. This is gonna be a great phone for you. And it's got good. There's not really cons. It's got good battery life. It's got a good camera, a good screen. Um, when it comes to screen brightness, definitely Moto X wins. It's got the brighter. It's got. It's got. It pretty much. It just got named the brightest screen of 2015. So definitely got the brightest screen there. Um, so why would you pick the Moto X? Moto X value is the best thing here. You know, a lot of the reviews will say like this is the best value phone, the best budget phone or anything like that. The thing is it's much more than that. They look at the price without, even without factoring in the price, you're getting a great, great phone here. There's like, there's really, I can't really find anything, any flaws with this. You can say battery life is not that be the best, but I... Even like I said, using these phones, I'll charge both of them once a day. So it's battery life is not an issue for me, never was. And a lot of people get through a day with this one. I know a couple of people that have gotten five hours of screen on time with the Moto X. So that's subjective, but it's very hard for me to find something to dislike about this phone. Um, the only thing I really don't like about the 6P is just the design. It's too tall and it's too slippery and it's just not as much of a joy to use you know it's perfectly usable in one hand but you know i find myself moving around a little bit more and having to adjust it more because of the added height and a little bit of a width so why pick the moto x pretty much because this is an engineering marvel you know motorola packed a lot into a you know a good size a good small size very easy to use the back is curved so it fits right in the hand um it's just a really really fun to use and 
they did this while you are also able to customize the phone give it the give it its own look it's got a great display it's not amoled but it's still a great display great bright vibrant display can't really complain about that it's got a good camera on there it's got all the nice features you know when it comes to software it's another reason why i think moto x will win because they're both stock android but you're getting extra added goodies with here like the active display right here this is an awesome so i can control my music directly from here without ever turning the screen on and you can just wave over it um it's so much harder to get ambient display to activate and with um no buttons on the front you know you kind of have to kind of nudge it and it doesn't always work the first time sometimes i'll put it in my pocket and it doesn't always show up and most times it's just going to unlock with the fingerprint sensor anyway but the active display is just awesome you can wave over it it's, you can just move the phone it works 100 percent of the time of course you can give it your own launch phrase you can all the gestures the double tap to launch the camera is awesome it works i haven't had it not work for me yet but the only downside is that it actually locks the phone first before uh, it actually launches the camera because you're double clicking the power button so when you do that so that's yeah i unlock it always a little bit of a lag on the launch on that sometimes it affects the picture it takes a really dark picture but most of the time it just works fine so you take the picture you can only look at the one that you took because technically it thinks that the phone is locked and it would be nice I hear so of Google if you're listening let us use our hand to unlock this so that we can just look through our gallery now if you're going from the lock screen it's not that big of a deal um, you know because your phone is locked and you just do it but if you've already unlocked the phone like right now and I do it why can't I you know look at my gallery I should be able to because you know it's me I just unlocked the phone so that's just a little little bit of a qualm that I had right there of course you have this gesture is just awesome and it works awesomely and then while you're there you can do it one more time to get to the front camera which is dope and then of course you have that shop flashlight which is always nice so all the little things also you know if you when you go to the moto app you have you still get to talk to me you know if you're driving it'll read out messages to you you have either with moto voice you can also lift it up, you know, to just give you a phrase. So there's a lot of nice little added features that Motorola adds to make this like um, an awesome experience. And so essentially, the Moto X does everything the Nexus can do and more. So aside from the low light photography and the bigger battery, other than that, it's a Nexus draped in Motorola goodies. Uh, so. Hopefully that will help you with your decision. They're both great phones. You're not going to go wrong with either one. It's just what's more important to you.